Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. And this week's topic is cabling. And this is part one of a two-part video. Um, in part one we're going to look at a uh, simpler technique for doing metal cables um, making that sort of twisted look using only procedural texturing in 3D Studio Max. In the next segment we're going to look at doing the same tech the same effect but using a different technique using actual geometry so let's get started uh, first we're gonna want a spline since if you're gonna do cabling it might as well be uh, it might as well be going where you want it to and convert all these to smooth there we go and when you're creating your cabling you'll want to have actual renderable splines. Now let's see. A little bit more interpolation on this one. There we go. And finally you'll also want to generate the map coordinates so that the the texture map will actually work on this object. So I'm going to open my material editor and apply a, a blank gray material. And this technique uses a gradient ramp map. This is a procedural map, and it's a little bit more robust than the gradient. It gives you the ability to create um, these little texture slash um, color nodes on the ramp, and then you can use that to alter the appearance the, the appearance of the map. So let's turn. So this one starts off at black. Let's make it go from black to black so that this material, this uh, texture map will tile properly. So we'll take this, double click on that, opens up our color picker, turn it to black, click OK. And this center one is gray. Let's turn it to white just to, to you know, make this effect very clear. Um, fun fact, this is something not a whole lot of people know. You you can actually take this technique a little bit further. Each one of these nodes, if you right click on it and then click on edit properties, you can actually assign a texture map directly to the to the gradient ramp um, map. You don't have to just use this if you're mixing materials, for example. You don't have to just use this as the mixer um, in the in the material. You can just uh, right click on it and insert a texture if you need to. Just kind of cool. But for now we're just going to stick to the colors. So the next step is down here in this W angle. We have the ability to turn the texture map slightly and, and keep an eye on up, up here while I do this. You'll notice that it kind of gets skewed. It skews. So I'm going to turn this to 50. 50 degrees, so it, it's twisted slightly. Now, this isn't going to quite give us the effect just yet. What we have to do is tile this texture map. So I'm going to give this 20 on the U-axis, 20 on the V-axis. And now you can see the material really sort of coming out with that twisted look. And then the, the level of um, distortion is controlled by this W spinner. And if I render, you can see the effect. You can see the effect starting to happen. Now, why doesn't this look quite right? Well, because in order to control the thickness of the strands, and in order to control the number of rotations along the along the cable, you'd have to move both the tiling and the W spinner in tandem. So, watch. In the previous render, you saw that. Um, you saw that the strands are very thin, they're very hard to see. If I turn the rotation up to say uh, 80, we should see the strands get much thinner. Let me zoom in for you a little bit. There we go. So the, the strands are now easier to see. They're thicker. But what if you say to yourself, well I want uh, a few more strands but I want the same number of rotations. The same sort of uh, tightness. Well, then we need to turn up the tiling. So I'm going to turn this to 30 and 30. And there we go. So now you can see that there are more wires on here. 
And this technique um, is built all into this gradient ramp map. So you can take this, you can um, use it as a, a bump map, for example, and then you can apply a diffuse map separately. You can use um, like a usually like a concrete looks uh, like a really convincing metal. You could also work this into some of the mental ray materials that that come with the the 3D Studio Max package nowadays. Um, metal and and uh, the art. So this concludes uh, part one of a two-part Monday movie. Uh, stick around, watch part two. You'll find out how to do a similar effect using actual geometry, not just texture maps.